History, the very thing that the world is defined by. Many countries have a history of war and independence. But nothing can compare to the history that defined Australian culture. To start off, when the Sydney Harbour Bridge was being opened to the public, the Sydney Mayor was about to cut the ceremonial ribbon. Before an old retired soldier ran forward on his horse, cutting the ribbon with his sword. A sensational incident occurred and cameras alone recorded it. It all happened in a flash. An officer, alleged to be Captain de Groot and a new guardsman, spurred his horse forward and slashed the ribbon, saying, I declare this bridge open, forestalling the Premier. He was quickly pulled from his horse and locked up in the toll. Well done mate, that was probably a death from his mates. Moving on to the tallest mountain in Australia. In 1840, European explorers were hiking through the Australian Alps, and named the tallest mountain, Mount Kosciuszko. A few years later, people realized the neighboring mountain was actually taller, so the government just swapped the names of the two mountains. Great, really showing Aussie spirit, trying to do as little work as you can, onto the capital of Australia, Canberra. The word Canberra actually means woman's cleavage, in the Aborigine language, as it is cradled between two mountains. The indigenous people who named the city are probably pissing themselves laughing right now. Another Australian icon, our national hero, Ned Kelly, who was a criminal. Ned Kelly was famous for stealing horses and robbing banks, which is exactly why he is our national hero, staying in colonial Australia. Some female convicts were a bit annoyed at the Tasmanian governor, and so they all mooned him. It's interesting to see how little culture has changed. Moving forward into the 1930s, post World War I, the Australian military was a bit bored one day, so we declared war on the emus. Funny thing is that we lost, it's great to see our military spending their money effectively. Fast forward 30 years later, and Prime Minister Harold Holt decided to go for an afternoon swim. He never came back, and the government saw the meme opportunity, and went on to name a pool, and a naval base after him. It just had to be a naval base didn't it? Jumping ahead to more recent times, in 2010, the National Prime Minister's debate was pushed back a few hours because everyone wanted to watch the MasterChef final. The two were on different networks too. Only in Australia. Then a few years later, the official national holiday of Australia Day was pushed back a few days from the weekend because everyone wanted a public holiday, which is the only reason why Australia Day is so celebrated. And finally, in 1979, NASA's space station Skylab crashed in the small Aussie town of Esperance. Esperance City Council fined NASA for littering, in which they still haven't paid back. Now nearly 40 years after the incident, Esperance City Council can legit sue NASA if it really wants to. So NASA, don't try us, or we'll sue you. So, if you ever look back at the stories that forged your nation, just look over at Australia, and remember, who really has the best history? Anyways, thanks for watching, please comment down below any ideas for future vids, and check out some of my other vids.